Okay, this is how to remotely manage Linux devices using Asbrew. Start by going to store.kde.org slash p slash 1796061. Scroll down, click files, and click on the most recent version. Click download. Okay, when it's done downloading, go to your app image and right-click it. Select Properties. Click the Permissions tab. Make sure Allow Executing File as a Program is checked. Then Close. Now you can double-click the app image to start the program. Okay, to create your first connection, right-click My Connections. Select Add Connection and give it a name. I'm going to connect to my Apache web server, so I'm going to call it Apache. Click OK. My method is going to be SSH, so I put in the IP address. And for this device, I connect using a username and password. So I put my username and then the password. Then click Save and Close. Then you can make sure Apache is highlighted and then click Connect at the bottom. And I'm signed in. Make sure I'm in the right one. Type sudo systemctl status Apache 2. And I'm successfully connected. Okay, now to close my connection, right-click on the tab at the top and choose Disconnect Session. And then I can close the terminal window by entering Control-W. Right-click My Connections, Add Connection, and this time I'm going to use SSH keys. And this is my Pi-hole server. So method SSH, put in the IP address of my Pi-hole server. Then click the circle by private key. Then I'm going to find my private key. I'll type in my username. The passphrase for my private key. and click for the private key file. It should be in the .ssh folder. And it's the top file. Now I can click Save and Close. And click Connect. This is the password for my private key. Click Unlock. Now I can check the status of my Pi-hole server. Pi-hole status. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.